Hi team! So good to see you again. Welcome back to my channel. Today is all about fixing our upper back area that is so often painful and stiff and not just feeling good, you know? And one of the best ways to strengthen that area is to use an exercise band. So today you will be needing this. Make sure you have one. And I recommend to have like a lighter version or maybe medium is okay if you have done exercise band training before. But if it's your first time, choose the extra light or light band. That way you will not be like overdoing it and trying too much like stretching the whole band and feeling not good. <laughs> so I am going to show you the movements, but what's the best part is we are going to be doing them together right here, right now, no excuses. Follow me. My name is Minna, I am your fitness coach from Finland and I am here to show you that home workouts can be effective and fun. We only have one rule in these sessions, it is let's have some fun. Let's do a warm-up first. You can have like a very wide grip of the band. And our first move is we lift the band up and we bring it all the way behind our back and then back to the front okay and now you can bend your elbows slightly so that's easier to take the band to the back or you can have an even wider grip it's also helpful if you're feeling stiffness here in your shoulders So try to keep your shoulders down and your core engaged. What we don't want is this. Okay? No. We want to stand in a neutral position. Our hips are neutral. Our core is engaged. So not like this. Don't overextend your knees either. Keep your knees slightly bent. So it's easier for you to have your back in neutral. Keep going. You might already feel some tiredness in your shoulders. If this is a new movement for you, or even if you've done this before, if your shoulder area is stiff, you might start to feel some tiredness. A few more. And that's it. Shake your arms. And next. Place the band behind your neck. Flex your elbows. Okay. Keep your hands like this. And now twist your body from side to side. You lift your opposite heel. See? It's easier to twist if you lift your heel. Keep going. Awesome. And that's it. Bring the band down. Shake your arms. Okay, last warm up move. Uh, grab the band like this, shoulder width. Flex your elbows, keep your shoulders down. No, I mean, flex your knees, not your elbows. <laughs> Keep your elbows straight, sorry. And start stretching the band slightly, not too much. Just like this. Small move. Keep your shoulders down. I know you're starting to feel it in your shoulders. 
that's the point. Try to keep your good posture anyway. Yes. A few more. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. Whew. Okay, shake your shoulders, your arms. Are you ready for our moves? We'll be doing two rounds and we have three moves. So grab the band again. You can have some water if you like before we start. Our first move. Put your elbows like to your sides so that they're touching your body or almost touching. It depends on how wide your shoulders are, but anyway, like this. And keep them like tucked in. And what we do is we stretch the band like this, but we keep our elbows very near to our body. Okay, let's go. 30 seconds. Come on. And slow the movement down when you bring your hands towards the center, okay? You slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, yes. Come on. Okay, that's it. Ready for the next move? Okay, bring your hands up and you pull the band behind your neck. Pull it behind your neck. Let's go. 30 seconds. Awesome. Again, keep your knees slightly bent your core engaged, your shoulders down. Awesome. Keep going. And one more. Yes. Shake your shoulders. Finally, our last move. Shoulder width grip. Shoulders down, stretch the band slightly, keep it stretched and bring it up and down. And the whole time the band is stretched like this, okay? Don't let it go loose. 30 seconds starts now. Up and down, take your time. Yes, shoulders down. Stretch the band. Awesome. You can feel it in your upper back, in your shoulders. This is a super good move, especially for the shoulder blades. With this move, you can prevent upper back pain, neck pain, so definitely one to do regularly. Okay, that's it. That was slightly over 30 seconds, actually. <laughs> well, anyway. Let's have a small break, like one minute. And after that, we will be doing this move again. Have some water. Okay, so first move was like this, second one was pulling down and the third one was that straight. 
stretch. Are you ready? Let's go to the starting position. Elbows tucked in and let's go. 30 seconds. Yes. Come on, keep going. And one more. Awesome. Now put the band up. You can have a slightly wider grip now. And pull the band behind your neck. Let's go. 30 seconds. Keep your knees slightly bent. Shoulders down. Core engaged. Keep going. And one more. Yes. Our last move. And this time, let's make it 40 seconds because we accidentally did 40 seconds on the first round. It was my mistake, but it was a good mistake. It's always good to do some extra if you feel like you need to strengthen an area. Let's not overdo it, but you know, just an extra 10 seconds. And stretch the band, let's go. Keep your shoulders down. Keep the band stretched the whole time. Don't let it go loose. One more, up and down. Let the band go. Shake your arms, your hands, whole body. Thank you so much for joining me on this session. It feels much better now in the upper back area. And let me know how you felt after doing this workout with me. And actually, I have one question for you. I would like to get to know you better. So please let me know in the comments, what language do you speak? What's your main language? Is it English or something else? For me, it's Finnish because I'm from Finland. But let me know what's yours and see you soon. See you on the next workout. Thank you. Bye bye.